on this Holy Trinity Sunday. We are gathered in worship in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The play of the Godhead, the Trinity's dance, embraces the earth in a sacred romance, with God the Creator and Christ the True Son, entwined with the Spirit, a web daily spawn, in spangles of mystery. The great three in one. The warmness of summer, cool waters that flow, turn crystal as ice when the wintry winds blow. The tap root that nurtures the shoot growing free, the life giving fruit. And ripe on the tree, more mystic and wondrous, the great one in three. In God's gracious image of co equal parts, we gather as dancers uniting our hearts in tune with the music of all living things. We join in the round of bright nature that rings with rapture and rhythm creation now sings. Source and sovereign rock and cloud, fortress, fountain, shelter, light, Judge, defender, mercy, might, life whose life all life endowed. May the church at prairie call that no single holy name, but the truth behind them all is the God whom we proclaim. Word and wisdom, root and vine, Shepherd, Savior, Servant, Lamb, Well and water, bread and wine, Way who leads us to I am. May the church at prairie call That no single holy name, But the truth behind them all, Is the God whom we proclaim. Storm and stillness, breath and dove, thunder, tempest, whirlwind, fire, comfort, counselor, presence, love, energies that never tire. May the church at prairie call that no single holy name, but the truth behind them all is the God whom we proclaim. The good news of Jesus Christ, according to the Gospel of John, the third chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, Very truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh. 
and what is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen, yet you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who has descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses was lifted up, had lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
the blessing of God who provides for us, feeds us, and journeys with us be upon you now and forever. Amen.